The withdrawal agreement negotiated by my predecessor has been three times rejected by this House. Its terms are unacceptable to this Parliament and to this country. No country that values its independence and indeed its self-respect could agree to a treaty which signed away our economic independence and self-government as this backstop does. A, a time limit is not enough. If an agreement is to be reached, it must be clearly understood that the way to the deal goes by way of the abolition of the backstop. For our part, we are ready to negotiate in good faith an alternative with provisions to ensure that the Irish border issues are dealt with where they should always have been in the negotiations on the future agreement between the UK and the EU. I do not accept the argument that says these issues can only be solved by all or part of the UK remaining in the customs union or in the single market. The evidence is that other arrangements are perfectly possible and are also perfectly compatible, perfectly compatible with the Belfast or Good Friday Agreement, to which we are, of course, steadfastly committed. I, my team, and the right on my right honourable friend, the Secretary of State for exiting the European Union, are ready to meet and talk on this basis to the Commission or other EU colleagues whenever, wherever they are ready to do so. And for our part, we will throw ourselves into these negotiations with the greatest energy and determination and in a spirit of friendship. And I hope that the EU will be equally ready and that they will rethink their current refusal to make any changes to the withdrawal agreement. If they do not, if they do not, we will of course have to leave the UK without an agreement under Article 50. The UK is better prepared for that situation than many believe. But we are not as ready yet as we should be. In the 98 days that remain to us, we must turbocharge our preparations to make sure that there is as little disruption as possible to our national life. And I believe that that is possible with the kind of national effort that the British people have made before and will make again. And these, in these circumstances, we would, of course, have available the £39 billion in the withdrawal agreement to help deal with any consequences.